What's going on, Nature Freaks? Hey, Nature Freaks. Dave and Jeremy back at it again. It is early March. It is freezing, mm -hmm. but the salamanders don't care. They're coming out. We've had some rain. Vernal pools are formed. It's time to hit the woods. But today, we're going to be looking for some rare, threatened species of salamanders. So, not our typical common salamanders that we usually find, although we may come across some of those. We're going to be looking for some four-toed salamanders, maybe get on some uh, unisex salamanders, mm -hmm. formerly known as silvery salamanders. Yeah, I'm excited. I say we uh, we get on it. Enough chitty chat. Let's go. Nature in your face! What are we looking for? We are Malasandarin. I mean salamanderin. And anurin. Yep. We got Johnny be good up there. Leading the way. We hired a Lebanese guy. Yeah. Our first sale of the journey. Spotted salamander. Beautiful. A big plump male. He'll be traveling from under these logs show them. You know to the vernal pool over here. And Jeremy's gonna explain why it's a male. There you go, look at that. You guys see the, uh, that's all male right there. And I'm zooming in. Ladies right and gentlemen, that's all boy. Oh. There's Dave, the Lone Ranger. Heavily trudging through the forest in search of all things slimy. Salamanders, wood frogs, maybe boogers. Oh, they're the boogers. We found those. Jeremy has a Sally. That's, that's the one. I got the tool line. Oh, awesome. Nice. Jeremy has just flipped the first two line we found in this area. We photographed them before, but it's a pretty old. not around yeah, here. It's a cute it's pretty fun. Very, very Ooh, cool. Oh, guy. Yeah, super cool. Very See the nice. two lines? Hence the name. Hence the name. Two line? Yes. I wonder what they would call it if it had three lines in it. Three lines. <laughs> uh, the trifecta. <laughs> nice <laughs> line, dude. That'd just be the racing salamander then. All right, second salamander. Yep, I'm photographing what Jeremy found. A two line sal salamander, and these are in the genus of, whoop, lungless Ooh. salamanders, meaning they respirate strictly through their skin. Kind of a mustard yellow color. I'm holding him on the leaf so that he stays moist. I don't want to dry him out by holding him with my skin. But good find, Jeremy. I actually flipped the log and didn't see it. Jeremy came along a couple minutes later, flipped the same log, and saw this well camouflaged double guy checking, underneath. Double checking. Double yep. checking. Four eyes are better than two. Yep. Now look, it's cold out here, and these guys still got some spunk to them. Yeah, we're only in the first week of March, and. Uh, of course, amphibians, they're very cold tolerant animals and they're the, one of the first, first animals that are gonna appear in the late winter and early spring after the rains. And we just had a good rain on Sunday, so. After a snow, yeah, and then it snowed and. Yeah, there's still snow accumulated in some of the areas around where we're walking, so. Awesome. Man, he's getting all spazzy, but very yeah, cool. Good find, find good find. Salamanders. We got the spotted, now we got the two line. Right. We're gonna shoot for the uh, small mouth four toe. We're gonna see what we can do. Unisexual. Yeah, I really want to find that four toe. I've never seen one of those. So that's whoa. Sally's. Whoa. All right, we're just gonna place Slippery them. little suckers. Under the same log we found them. There we go. Whoop, whoop. We got Johnny Five over here, the salamander extraordinaire. He's got the eyes of a harpy eagle. <laughs> what do you got, Johnny? Just uh. Another male spotted salamander. Oh man, the babies are out. Yep. Looking for the ladies. That's a that's a nice one. I like how it gets orange. At yeah. The front of the head. The one we saw and uh, we found we found last year didn't have this uh, this orange on them. Awesome. All right, another spotted. Okay, guys, we just found our third species of salamander. When I first flipped it, it looked just like a blue spot to me because some of the blue spots. When they get bigger, they lose that blue pigment and they're solid black. But this is, Johnny, I'm gonna let you talk about it because you find these more often than we do. All right, so this right here used to be known as a silvery salamander. Now it's known as the unisexual uh, salamander complex. By, uh, by unisexual, I mean uh, it's an old, uh, old female uh, species. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, uh, so these 
girls right here, they breed <laughs> and reproduce by these ladies by stealing other mole salamander uh, spermatophore. So <laughs> the way they do it, they uh, right. use the genetic material uh, uh, from these small salamander to activate uh, uh, their eggs. And they typically have, uh, uh, they duplicate uh, their uh, genetic material and they take uh, uh, a third copy from uh, the sperms. Yeah. Um, that's that's really cool. Yeah. All joking aside, it's pretty it's a pretty incredible way to survive. It's mind blowing. Right. We usually handle the salamanders, but this is a protected yeah, species, so, so we can't yeah. touch this. Yeah. yeah in we'll this area, the log and in this region, they uh, they use the sperm of uh, the smallmouth salamanders. Uh, in other region, they uh, uh, they target uh, tiger salamander, blue spotted salamander, and Jefferson salamanders as well. <laughs> now, do you think they That's prefer crazy. the small mouth because they talk less during the stealing of the spermatophores? Most probably. <laughs> 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 All right, so this is pretty crazy. We just finished the scene with the unisexual one. Went to release it back under this log, lifted the log to reposition it, and we saw this bright white belly with speckles, and booyah, we got our four toed. I mean, that's like the telltale sign. Easy way to identify these. Now, there is some confusion with the salamander. It's pretty crazy. Everybody wants to know how many toes does the four toed have? Johnny, how many toes does four toed have? 16, 16, <laughs> four limbs times four. Come on, people, it's easy. Right. Yeah, and you know, it's interesting. This is the only terrestrial salamander on the planet to have four toes on both the hind and front legs. So they are unique. They're a small species of salamander, but all those flecks, beautiful. They've got kind of like a reddish orange tail, almost like a, it gets a little bit darker by the top, and they got that gray with the flecking on the side. And, but look at the back. It's almost like like dragon scales, as Johnny was saying, the dragon of the yeah, salamanders. True. Had to get a little closer here to show you. Yeah, look at those lines on there. Yeah, this is a uh, beautiful cool salamander. salamander. Also another um, threatened one, so we're not handling this one. But you gotta you gotta see it. I mean, in person. All right. So what do we got? Four species of Four salamanders. Species Three that we've it. never found before. So yeah. All right, pretty cool ending to our little journey here. Jeremy just flipped a brand new species to end the day. What do you got here? We got the redback. The redback salamander. Yeah, one of the more common ones found around here, but uh, still cool. I mean, it doesn't matter. We got the protected species we were looking for. I mean, both of them that we set out to find. And now we got this awesome little red back. Got yep. that cool like copper streak down the back. I'm gonna zoom in on him. Yes, this is another the lungless salamander, much like that two line that we found earlier. And they also look a lot like the zigzag. The zigzag, salamander. yeah, I was gonna say that like you would see in our uh, Southern Illinois snake road videos. Mm -hmm. very, Definitely. Very small salamander, one of the smallest ones that you're gonna find. Oh, don't go here. in my shirt. <laughs> very cool, great find. All right, guys, believe it or not, this is also a redback salamander, but they come in two color phases. You have the redback with the red stripe, obviously where they get their name, but this is the leadback color phase. It's all black with a little bit of flecking. They look a little bit like the four-toed salamander, but you can tell the difference by flipping them over and looking at the belly. This is not a protected species, so I'll just show you real quick. It has that gray belly. Very cool to have found both color phases in the same area on the same day. Yeah, man, we got the red back and now it's time to get the lead out. Mm -hmm. There you go, get the lead out. Sweet. Hope you guys dug this episode like we were digging. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, amphibians just, they rock. If you guys aren't getting out and finding your own nature, you need to. That's why we make these videos to encourage you to get outside. I hope you see these animals that we find and then your nature starts to salivate, <laughs> and then you need to quench it by getting outside, you know? Yeah. I mean... Just to summarize, we found five species of salamanders. Five species. Yep. So Heck it was yeah. definitely worth the two and a half hour trip down here, surrounded by these beautiful woodlands. And uh... Yeah, the sun's starting to go down, temperature's dropping, birds are singing. 
Yep. Spring and summer is approaching, that's for sure. That... Spring is in the air. All right. That's it. That'll that'll be a wrap. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>